Hi, I'm Anthony Davidson, and this is one of the fastest hybrid cars in the world, the incredible Toyota TSO30. And I was one of the lucky drivers to race this car at the legendary Le Mans 24 hours this year. Now what makes this car so special is the fact that Toyota have put all of their leadership of hybrid technology into the back of it. It's an incredible car and it completely changed the face of Le Mans this year. But Toyota have been busy using all that know-how on another new car. This is the Yaris Hybrid. And they claim it's the world's most compact hybrid car. Okay, so here we go. First ever experience of a hybrid road car. Initially, the car's silent, pulling away, you hear nothing at all until we put the throttle down a little bit more and then the combustion engine starts to kick in and, and that's exactly the same in the racing car as well. We go down the pit lane, dead silent, and then we release the clutch and that actually bursts the combustion engine into life. I'm driving along at normal road speeds and just listen. It's so calm in here and it helps create a really relaxing driving experience. Automatic transmission also adds the stress-free driving and it's just what I need after the noise of a race circuit, I can tell you. The interesting thing is you can use hybrid technology in two different ways, it seems. In the race car, it's more about performance and uh, they're using the hybrid engine to actually give you an extra boost of power rather than saving fuel. In the road car, it's all about conserving fuel and quiet city driving. And this car sets a new benchmark for city cars. The Yaris produces just 79 grams of CO2 per kilometer. Couple that with no road tax and great resale values, and you've got a car that really makes great financial sense. I'm also really impressed with the EV mode. Running on pure electricity is fun, both in the race car and in the road car as well. You can travel for up to 1.2 miles on pure electric power alone, delivering virtually no emissions. This makes it a great proposition for company car drivers as this sits in the 10% benefit in kind taxation band. It's a completely new experience to me on the road to be driving in silence and um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I really enjoy that actually. And here's the biggest surprise. Just because the Yaris has excellent environmental credentials, it doesn't compromise the driving. This is a great car to hustle on country roads with light steering and secure handling and you get a real good feeling, feedback through the steering wheel itself. The ride is also good as well, and it does a great job smoothing out those bumpy old British roads. I'm really enjoying the cabin as a whole actually, you know, I've got a good eye for detail. I'm loving the display, all the needles are in blue. I'm hit by all the technology inside the car as well. We've got this beautiful display of the energy monitor, and so uh, I can see when I brake, the energy getting filtered into the battery. It kind of goads you to want to fill those batteries up so when you break the energy goes into the batteries and when you put your foot down you see the red arrows going back towards the front wheels. Overall I'd say the whole experience gives you a feeling like it's a much more expensive car than it actually is. In fact the Yaris Hybrid has features that rival much bigger cars dual zone climate control air conditioning, smart stop and start, rear view camera, Bluetooth connectivity for wireless music, streaming and hands-free telephone. Plus, I really like their touch and go multimedia system. It's ideal for filling that quiet cabin with your favorite music. One thing that interests me is that Britain buys more hybrid road cars than any other country in Europe. This version, the new version of the popular Toyota Yaris, comes into the UK as the cheapest hybrid car on the market. And for my money, that means it's gotta be a success story. It's a great car, no doubt about it, but it's still got some way to go before it matches my other hybrid car on the racetrack. Oh.